where he's going to have a word with SK over their, with their dominant win over Unicorns. Thank you, Pyra. I'm here to talk with Candy Panda after his win after uh, that game. Now, that was a complete dissection of the Unicorns. I'm not sure what the Unicorns look on the inside, but you guys certainly found them. How were you able to exploit them so hard in that early game and throughout the whole game? Yeah, so this week we had a lot of problems uh, externally. So we didn't have much time to scrim. So our game plan was just pick strong lanes because that's like the easiest strategy to, to like execute right now. So we just picked strong lanes, picked like an easy game plan, which was poke. And yeah, they couldn't really do much against it. They got caught out really badly sometimes. So we were able to win. Oh, is that the only thing in your arsenal, Candy Panda? Because is that the only thing in your arsenal, Candy Panda? Because you talked about the strong early laners, but we have a lot of changes now when we get to the new patch. Uh, have you guys adapted to that? Do you have more in your back pocket? Yeah, well, as I said, like we didn't scream so much this patch, sadly. So, I mean, we still have like last week we showed that we can play Irelia and stuff as well. So, we were we are certainly able to play more, but this was just the the easiest to execute against the unicorns. Yeah, definitely look like it. Best of luck in your future games, Candy Panda, and congratulations on the win. We're going to shoot it over to the Alice Desta to talk about that game. Thank you so much, Pulsa. Easiest strategy to execute, and what an important win. This means that if the Copenhagen Wolves lose their game tomorrow, the Copenhagen Wolves are in the auto relegation spot and will be out of the LCS. What an important win for SK. And wow, did SK show up? Candy Pan is saying, look, we wanted to play something that's a little easy. I'm not quite sure I agree that Poke is easy, but <laughs> well executed. It was the fastest win of the summer split at 25 minutes and two seconds. SK just demolished the Unicorns Wait, above. Hang, hang on, Trevor. I, I Honestly, I have to stop you here because so much of this game was just down to Unicorns of Love. We talked about the decision-making coming into this. Quite frankly, there was some very strange and even at times bad decisions out from the Unicorns of Love. Flashing out of, uh, flashing out towards the target when there's no vision on them. Trying to take dragon fights where you're two versus four. I credit Blind SK. Fights. Yeah, I, I credit SK for the, then, the so. strategy and the game plan. But honestly, Unicorns of Love just did not even show up to play today. No. And it was dangerous to do uh, math on the show, but uh, bad communication and decision-making from Unicorns of Love times the bad communication and decision-making from Jillius is... It just wasn't good. And, you know, a lot of that could be, to his re-entry in the LCS with the team and kind of all those factors adding up. But it's very unfortunate from the side of the, the Unicorns of Love that it has to happen at this point. I, can, I think the problem for Unicorns of Love and the fact that they've had the substitution and they've now lost this game is the fact that the teams around them are now picking up wins. Elements picked up a win. We saw Giants dropping a game as well. So that middle of the table is now getting even more condensed. For SK, it was a fantastic victory, but they now face Fnatic and Origin. So if Fnatic want to make playoffs, they have to play like that against the best teams in summer. But for everybody else, the likes of Rocket, the likes of Elements looking to make playoffs, their chances have just been made a little more likely. And I think uh, their chances being more likely now are even helped by the fact that if they can get a picks and bans phase like SK did that time, Sven on something comfortable and very dominant in the early game, Freddy comfortable and Rated seemed comfortable on Shen. If they get th that kind of opportunity in picks and bans, no reason to say SK maybe can't pick up another win over, you know, Elements, but... Fnatic and Origin, I think, is a big stretch. We'll see. Well, there is a chance. What a win from SK. For us, though, it's time to go on cooldown. But in just a few minutes, Gambit will go up against Origin, who are looking to secure a second place finish and the all important playoff buy. And at Mert Russo thinks Gambit is on track for a win and tweeted, their roster is starting to gel together and they are showing they are not afraid to make big team plays. We will see what happens and we'll be back here in a minute or three. All right, let's do this, boys. Let's do this, guys. Come on. All right. Will not Gilius, but he gets kicked back the right. Rocket hits him in the face. It's a one for one, but the skirmish is on. But he's got a Shen at his back. He's gone Meganar. The tables are turning. Unicorn spin off way more than they can chew. In comes the big Nar. Knocks Mardex. Gets a stun into the shot blast. They take him down. Freddy is eating the lasers. 25 minutes in. SK Gaming with the win.